Good morning, my name is Mike Applin. I'm the Senior Product Director for all the luxuries here at Jayco RV. And this morning I want to talk about our 395 Jayco Seismic. Now, at Jayco, we make a couple different toy haulers and we have the Seismic and we have the Seismic Luxury. The Seismic, what we're going to show today on this 395, uh, it has the same construction as the Luxury. Um, it has a lot of the same features. However, not all the floor plans are the same as a Luxury. Uh, there are some few extra packages that are available. So uh, a lot of customers ask us uh, here at Jayco or at the shows, what's some of the differences? So this isn't a video for necessarily the differences. I just kind of want to do a little walk around on our 395. We've had really good success with this and we've had it at all the shows and it's been, uh, been a home run for us. So a couple of things that we talk about on the outside too. And I talk about the synergy between Seismic and Seismic Luxury. In fact, the graphics package is exactly the same on both products. So the main difference, if you're on a dealer's lot and you look, a Seismic Luxury will have a windshield on the front of the cap. The Seismic does not. So that's one of the big differentiators right off the bat. But one of the things I wanted to point out was the new uh, MPS generator powered by Yamaha. What's unique about it is it's a new generator to the market, or newer I should say, but it's really taken over the industry. You're going to see it in a lot of different toy haulers in the industry. A lot of motorhomes are using it, but what's cool about it, it's actually a 6 uh, kilowatt instead of a 5.5 five like you might be accustomed to. Now we still use the 5.5 five Onans in our North Points and Pinnacle products, but both the toy haulers, we're going to use this new MPS and through our testing what's really cool about it, it has an inverter in it so it has inverter technology uh, one of the downsides to generators in the past is that uh, the heat manifold in it once they get hot they like to shut down that's kind of the tendency of them they actually went to Death Valley of all places only the hottest place in the you know United States they went for 1,500 hours on this and it didn't have a shutdown failure on it. So it just proved to us real quick that they figured out that manifold pretty well. And uh, so heat is one of the biggest things of it, detriments, and they've got that dialed in. It also has a pull start, a manual pull start. So for whatever reason, if you were running or your batteries were low and you just couldn't get the starter to turn over or anything like that, you actually have a manual pull cord on it, which is a really cool feature. And our customers are telling us that that's one of the neatest things they like about it. So if you want to jump on their website, learn a bit, little bit more about it, um, feel free. They've got tons of information on MPS's uh, website. So that's one of the things I wanted to talk about as well. So moving around here, we also have the uh, Moride Step Above Steps. What's cool about this and this price point is typically you will not see the built-in strut assist. And uh, it's really cool when you can have this as a safety feature because let's face it, we're at the campground, we got so many things going on, so many things in our hands. We may have a pet in one hand, a cell phone in the other, and a water bottle in the other. And we're trying to put the steps up and down. Well, if this was to come down in some other manufacturer's steps, this is just gonna come crashing down on top of your head. Probably not a good thing. So we made sure that we incorporated this in all of our products. This is the same step we have actually put in our pinnacle. They've also done some new features as well. They have uh, the telescoping legs on it that's gonna uh, actually compensate at the campground for unlevel. And then they also have the articulating feet that are gonna go ahead and self-level as well. So that's standard of features on this seismic product as well. One of the things new for 2024 too that we're really excited about is the anti-lock braking system with sway mitigation. Uh, it's made by Dexter, but it also has a Bosch controller. Bosch is the, uh, the main components of this electronic system. Um, your passenger vehicle, your truck, whatever vehicle, they have over 550 million of their units on the road today. I mean, they pioneered this technology. So the anti-lock brake system, you might say to yourself, well, I'm never gonna be in a situation where I'm gonna have to do it. I'm not gonna be on ice, or I'm not gonna be in the winter time. We only camp in the summer. Well, some of these cities or bigger cities, you can just think about the amount of oil and grease that's on those city streets or highways. Once it rains and then it gets hot, all that comes up through there and it gets slick real quick. So the nice thing about this anti-lock brake system, it's faster than what the human brain can think. If you're in an unfortunate event where you start to get a little bit of slide side to side, that system will just automatically straighten it out for you. So we're super big on safety here. We call them part of our safety buckets here at Jayco. So not only does it have its standard, and that's on Seismic Luxury, North Points, Pinnacles as well, it also features the Dexter axles as well. So we have the Dexter axles, and we have 17 and a half inch H-rated 16 ply tires as standard equipment. Now these are Uniroyal tires, which is a division of Michelin. This is an interesting thing. 
I checked with our warranty department just to see how it was you know, stacking up to our old Goodyear Beast that we used to use for several years. We have over 25,000 of these that we've applied to our units since we started the inception. We've had two warranty claims and I don't firmly believe it was because of the tire. So two out of 25,000, I think that's huge. So a lot of manufacturers will save money here. They will do a no-name tire. And so moving on to the inside of the 395, one of the things we really wanted to focus on was more livability. So, so many toy haulers floor plans, including ones that we currently have too, um, they usually are smaller where you have the kitchen, the living room kind of combined all together. Cause let's face it, you may have an 11, 12, 14, 16 foot garage in the back. And all that does is take away from the living space. Well, this 395 actually has a 14 foot garage with an optional half bath. And we'll show you that here in a minute. But what really is exciting about this floor plan and the customer feedback that we get is the amount of countertop space. We have this really nice L-shaped sofa. We have an opposing sitting area over here with theater seats with heat, massage. Um, we actually do telescoping headrests as well. So if you're like me and you have bifocals, you lay all the way back, it's pretty hard to watch the TV. So we incorporated the headrest into it. So now you can actually watch TV without doing this back and forth with your glasses. But we also went to a fabric this year. It's stain guard protected. In fact, I even encourage all the customers to add as much additional stain guard protection to it as you want. I mean, you can do it every week. You can do it every month. You can do it every year. But the more that you apply to it, it's just going to build up that resistance to any staining. So that was one of the big things. We wanted to move away from the plastic the vinyl, the peeling, the cracking, you know, that stuff just gets destroyed with all of the um, oils and whatnot from your skin. So we've had great feedback to that. We have a lot of people who say, finally, you finally switched to fabric. So we're listening to you. We made sure we got that taken care of. The other thing in here is a table and four chairs. Obviously, this comes with two extra chairs. They're folding chairs. We store them underneath the bed. But this is just an Adelief table. We do this in all of our North Points and Pinnacles as well. But uh, we've been doing this Adelief for a long time. Um, moving into the kitchen area too. So storage is real, uh, real important in a toy hauler as well because usually you just don't have as much as the traditional floor plans. But you can see the amount of drawer space that we have. I mean, it's just, it's stacked in there. This pantry space, you can see how far and deep it is. We could have just eliminated these as well and maybe butted this over here a little bit more and saved all of this so we didn't have the cost of the doors, but we wouldn't do that. We want to maximize our storage. So we have another pantry here. We have another pantry here. It's a good place for a trash can down there. We also have the magnetic uh, holders on it. So when it closes, it's positive catch. Um, pull out sprayer. We have the black chrome on the, uh, on the big deep sink. And uh, anyway, you can just see the amount of countertop space all the way around. So this floor plan is definitely not lacking for any storage. So I encourage you to get to your local Jayco dealer and check it out because this has been a super hot floor plan for us. Um, we have stereo systems, we have fireplaces, we have 4K smart TVs. This one has a 50 inch smart TV. And once again, this is all standard and that's part of the seismic. Uh, it's so common to, you know, have a low price and then all of a sudden you have to start doing all the plus pluses. In other words, add on options. So the ramp, uh, ramp door patio, that's standard. The rear steps off the back, standard. The 6.0 generator, standard. Happy Jack beds, standard. So you can see the theme of this. If, you, uh, if you're looking for a fully featured luxury toy hauler, why would you have to guess what it has or what it doesn't have? We just make it all standard, which actually helps us lower the cost because we don't have all the option prices in it as well. So $3.95, we'll go up into the bed bath real quick. So we have the walk-in shower. I can come in here. I put the skylight right up in here. You can see how much higher this is. I'm six foot two. So you have plenty of headroom in here. Finished it all off with a nice shower surround. In fact, we actually started uh, the walk-in showers back in our seismic luxury almost six years ago. After we did that and pioneered it and uh, developed that with a local company called G3, uh, we also have it uh, then into our pinnacles, our north points, and now into our seismics as well. So our whole lineup of luxury products have the walk-in shower in them. We also did the uh, shiplack back here. We have a really cool uh, medicine cabinet. You know, notice the little shelves that we put in to keep everything from falling out. When you get to where you're going, you open up the door and everything comes crashing out. So we actually build this in-house. Um, typically, you're just going to have shelves right there. But we wanted to make sure we kept the deep lips in here. So if you had shaving cream and other things like that. So this is our bathroom in the 395. We'll go up to the uh, bedroom area. So 
This has a north-south bed in it, as you can see. You can do a queen bed. It comes standard with a king. If you want to opt into a queen, you can. We probably do a 90% take rate on the king beds, but uh, once again, it's an option for you. Everything's bright, open. You know, that's our theme. We started this whole farmhouse look. I think it was around six years ago. We started it in our Eagle product, and then we started moving it into our Pinnacles, our North Points, the rest of our lineups, even our J Flights, our White Hawks, our Feathers. So anytime that you see a coach that's not brown, brown, or brownest, you can kind of thank Jayco for that because we just got tired. We had brown as well. Well, when we moved away from that, you can see how much more bright, open, airy everything is. But one thing that Stacy Stewart does, she is our our interior designer here at Jayco. She's been with us over 30 years. Uh, she actually has a J flight. She camps every weekend, every other weekend uh, during camping season. But she's our secret weapon. You know, a lot of uh, people come up to me at show and they say, you know, Mike, you need a woman to design these. And I said, you know what? It's a fantastic idea because Stacy does do all this. So you can see the color, the contrast. When we do white, it doesn't look like a hospital room. It's not everything's white. We've got bourbon chocolate. We've got grays. We've got whites. We've got blacks. We have all these colors that come together and tie it together. So it gives it super contrast. And Stacy just does an unbelievable job. So thank you for that, Stacy. We have night shelves on this side, a little storage here. We do the blue LED, uh, LED light. We have reading lights over here, lift up storage under the bed. We have the big, uh, I call it the hers and hers wardrobe. Sorry, guys. Um, most people would call it his and hers, but we know that it's hers and hers on here. Uh, has some extra drawers over here, and uh, we actually incorporate a window. But one of the things I want to talk about in the bedroom just real quick, because we do standard two 15,000 air conditioners. Um, we also have an option for a third 15 is we actually have a security camera feature. So what's cool about that is um, you can do backup camera option um, on manufacturers. It's not a new thing or the dealer can add them after the fact. But one of the things that it never did before is it wasn't a security uh, function to it. So we actually found a way with our electrical engineering department to kind of trick the system a little bit. We added a fourth uh, camera location above the entry door. And uh, if you look around here on the corner, we have a little toggle switch and it says security camera. So you can take your S7 monitor out of your truck or you can buy a separate one, put it in here to your bed, plug it in right here. And now with just a flip of a switch at night in the campground, you can utilize those backup cameras as security cameras. So that's a feature we started a couple years ago uh, in our luxury division. And that's something we do standard in all four of the product lines. So I wanted to mention that because that's one of the things that uh, shows that a lot of people have been asking us about is, is there any way to get a security camera? I'm like, absolutely, we've been doing it for two years and this is how we've done it. So I wanted to point that out because that's a big feature for us that I don't think gets talked about enough. Um, another thing we do standard is we try to do a really good job for inverter prep. And what do I mean by that? Inverter prep is for uh, 12 volt outlets. So anywhere throughout the coach, for example, you see one here with a white sticker, you see another one with a white sticker, that's gonna be a 12 volt outlet. So Typically, we'll have five to six um, per coach in there. These are obviously because, let's face it, we might need a CPAP or some of our customers may need a CPAP. So we have that uh, conveniently located right there for you to plug into. So, you know, it's funny. We think of this as a garage. I like to think of it as a second bedroom, second living room. In fact, I've had a ton of customers say, hey, you know, do you have any toy haulers at the show? And I'm like, absolutely, we don't yet we'll be standing right in front of a seismic they kind of look at me puzzled and they said but if you're no but if you're looking for a high-end luxury fifth wheel that just happens to have a garage you've come to the right place one of the things we try to always do is make this more than a garage i mean obviously you see the half bath here now in this floor plan it's an option for it because you never know the size of one's toys right we said this is a 14 foot garage but we have the width here so that a standard size side by side can still drive all the way up here and utilize the half bath you start moving out west and some of the toys are just getting gigantic uh, let alone some of the aftermarket parts that you can put to them so you'll see maybe out west some of the dealers may not stock the half bath just because they're really utilizing the garage space but uh, that's going to be an option there. Like I said earlier, the steps for your ramp patio are standard, second awning standard, two ACs are standard, happy jack beds are standard. So this is in the up position. I push a button. I can get the bottom bed to come down. I can leave the top bed up. I can flip these little uh, tabs over here in the corner. I can bring both beds down. And a feature that, that I don't think a lot of people really realize that it has too is you can actually bring these and swing these down against the wall in the bottom bed. So if you need to maximize the height for your toy to get in here, you can actually bring them down here and increase the height um, as well. 
One thing I didn't mention, which was standard too, was the built-in three season room. So the three season room, what's cool about that as well, is it's got uh, up-down telescoping windows. Um, you can bring them all the way open. You can bring the, the windows down. You can swing the three seasons room open. Or if you have a toy, sometimes when you do that, you might lose about up to six, seven inches of garage space when you put the three season room in. These are actually removable as well. So depending on what your toy is, you literally can uh, disconnect the doors, bring your toy in here, set the, the three season room in here, and then get where you're going, back your toy out and, and reinstall them back on. So that's a feature that I don't think gets talked about enough as well. Um, the last thing in here is all of ours will be washer and dryer prep. Uh, we have a dedicated heat duct back here. In fact, this is that little, uh, I call it a bat wing right here. This is what you're going to find above the entry door, the main entry door as well that I was talking about with the security camera. Um, I started here at Jayco uh, this summer, will be 10 years, and this is one of the first things I did way back to our Octanes and Octane SLs is I incorporated the place for a security camera back here, shooting, I should say a backup camera, because when you're driving down the road, who wouldn't want to see your toys? I mean, you may have thirty, forty thousand dollars in some of these toys. If your ratchet straps are coming loose or something's getting ready to, you know, have a, have a bad day, you can actually see that before it happens because you can mount another camera right here. So another feature that I don't think it's talked about enough as well. Uh, once again, my name is Mike Applin. I'm the senior director of product development for all things luxury here at Jayco. Uh, we appreciate you taking the time. Uh, if you want to learn more about our products, please go to Jayco.com and, and check out everything. We have some really good 360 videos that will bring you right inside this coach and the Matta ports. Um, but the best way to do is get out and see your local Jayco dealer. Um, best way to walk through a unit. So if there's anything we can do to help you, please feel free. Give us a call here at Jayco and uh, appreciate you taking the time.